Hello everybody. I am going to show you how to paint the Hey Y'all truck. I hope you guys are doing great today. And I'm gonna do a few things right here. And we'll let that happen. I'm going to, we've had the Hey Y'all truck in, in um, at the store for a little while and I just haven't gotten to it. So tonight I am going to show you how to paint. Hey Debbie, how are you? I'm gonna show you how to base coat the Hey Y'all truck, y'all. Let me get this right here real quick. And we are in business, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do the windshield in gray. And obviously we have a lot of the, the yellow petals up here. And uh, hold on just one second. And so I'm going to use, I've got my, my uh, base coating brush right here, my mop brush for this part. But I've got this little in here in these little areas. So this is what I'm gonna do. Debbie, you doing okay? I am, um, I thought I'd get on here and I'm gonna do the Hey Y'all truck. I'm gonna get a lot of it base coated. Ashley will be on tomorrow doing the graduation diploma and then I'll do, I'll finish the Hey Y'all truck on Friday. And um, this, this truck I'm gonna do in the sky blue, but I think for the fall I'll do the same truck in red. No, oh, she said she's doing good. Did you have fun playing bingo the other night? I was telling Connie and Paula that you were going to go play bingo, and they're like, where does she go to? We want to go play bingo. I was like, I don't know. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Uh, Kathy's my cousin in San Antonio, so she can be quite crafty herself, and she's always doing something with plants or paint or something. And um, Kathy, I think your brother is going to come see me in a couple weeks, I hope. So I think he's gonna come down. I made him a sign. So maybe that's why he's gonna come down, pick up his sign. <laughs> he said he's been real busy. Hey, Trisha, how are you? I'm showing everybody how to paint the Hey Y'all truck and I'm just going around these petals of the sunflowers in gray with this worn out script liner, just because it's, uh, I don't wanna put the mop brush right up there. So uh, anyway, Debbie, I was telling them that you were going to play bingo and she, everybody's like, well, where do you go play bingo? I was like, I don't know. That's just what Debbie said she was gonna do. There's a place, oh, where Burlington used to be in that strip center on 45. Hey, Pam, how are you? I'm doing the Hey Y'all truck, Pam. And um, I did not know that. I might have to go over there then. Cause Paula used to go quite a bit to play bingo somewhere and then I think they shut down. Of course, I guess with the whole COVID thing, you know, things are, are maybe kind of starting to get back to normal, but probably, uh oh, that was closed down during the whole pandemic, quarantine, whatever. I guess we're still in it. Who knows? Anyway, I got, <clears throat> excuse me. I've got that. That's my gray windshield. And while I'm at it, I'm going to do my bumper in gray. Yeah, it's in that strip center. I guess if you're saying then that Burlington Coat Factory might have gone out of business, that's what it sounds like. Although, y'all, I wouldn't buy a coat. I'm so hot natured. Of course, I guess there's a few times in the world you need a coat. Speaking of that, y'all, I'm supposed to go on a cruise. Um, well, we've been, had this thing. Okay, she said, okay, so Jeff did say, I think he's coming down sometime in May, Kathy. Um, we have had this cruise that we paid, well, not totally paid for, but work, we have been working on paying for it, I should say. Oh, it's still there, okay. Okay, she says Burlington Coat Factory's still there. So y'all, we have this cruise that we're talking about going on. We booked it probably January of this year and it doesn't go until January of 2022. So we got what, I don't know, eight months or whatever. And um, of course, during this time we're paying on it, blah, 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 blah. We're supposed to fly down to South America to Buenos Aires and go, um, uh, uh, to Buenos Aires for maybe five or six days. Um, and then we're supposed to go to the South Pole on this boat. So we've been talking about going, and so that's kind of what made me think about a coat. And I thought, you know, I was born and raised in Texas, y'all. I'm not sure that I even have a coat. Of course, we're gonna be on the ship most of the time, but of course we're gonna do, get out at the ports and do various things, so thinking I might need to invest in a some kind of jacket. She says she's putting a truck on a rock, making a rock garden. Ah, that sounds cool. Yeah, 
I, Kathy, I can see you. A lot of times you always have, you're like me. We always have something going on. Something. I've been outside this afternoon taking pictures. We did a bunch of uh, white glitter stuff. And um, we changed up some of the profiles on it and stuff like that. So I have been trying to take photos. Well, photos are difficult sometimes. Excuse me. Depending on sun. So, um, it's been kind of challenging. If you drop by my house, I've got a lot of white stuff out in the yard and it's just simply because I'm trying to hold off for a day when the sun is going to cooperate with me. And sometimes it, here lately, we've had a lot of days that we don't, we're just not having a lot of sun, which does help the temperature. So on one hand, I don't want to gripe about that. But on the other hand, it's kind of like, come on y'all, I need some sun. The mowers will be here next week, so I definitely need to have all that white stuff put up by the time they get here because, of course, they'll mow grass all over it and spread the grass everywhere on it, and then it gets dirty, and i got to wash it and all that kind of stuff. So, hopefully. But, talking about going on this trip, y'all. So, we haven't been vaccinated uh, for the COVID thing just because we just kind of, well, we weren't in a high-risk group, and we've been kind of deciding should we get vaccinated. So we're getting on this, we're supposed to go with Norwegian to, uh, that's the cruise line on this cruise we're supposed to go on in January of 2022. And I get an email from them the other day and it says, basically, if you want to cruise uh, with Norwegian, and I'm sure all of them are doing this, you got to get, a, you got to get vaccinated. So there's another thing we got to think about. And of course, going to different countries and all of that with, when you're on a boat, blah, blah, blah. So I guess we'll be going and getting vaccinated, y'all. Uh, my niece wants some things. She liked Timmy and Sherry's blue bonnets. Ah, well, tell her to um, when Jeff gets here that he can go around with his little camera and make a little video and see what we have and get some stuff and take it back. You'd be surprised. We have had customers show up and say, "Can we take a video?" Uh, because our, you know, either whoever somebody wants to buy something, but they want to see what we have, and we're like, "Sure." So you'll have to get him to take a video and then he can take it all back to San Antonio. Um, right now I'm just going around the yellow part, I mean around the mid part of my flower. And then I'm just filling in this yellow every, this will all be the flowers. But y'all, I think this is, I'm gonna do it in sky blue, but you know, if you wanted to have a fall truck, it would be really cute in red. This truck being red, I think would be really cute. And uh, Kathy, I do know that uh, we just got a bunch of stuff in from Laredo, so we do have a bunch of blue bonnets. How long we'll keep them, I don't know, but I do know that we've got a bunch of the blue bonnets right now because we just got a truck last week. So, anyway, make sure you know the rules for getting back into the U.S. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, Debbie? No, am I like I get stranded down there? They're like, no, lady, you ain't going back. So, well, I mean, we have our passport, and the thing about Norwegian, y'all, that I, I, it's not like I'm a world-renowned traveler. I've been on a cruise to Alaska, but that's the only other cruise I've been on, but we're with Norwegian, and they have their, uh, they give you a, I guess, like a customer service rep or an account rep, and they call me ever so often. So, well, next time he calls me, I'm going to make sure I ask some more questions, uh, because... You know, we want to make sure, like you're saying, that whatever we do, we don't run in. The thing about vacation is supposed to be fun. You don't want to be all stressed out because the unexpected happened, which, hey, sometimes hmm, my comment did not pin. Okay, let me try it again, Debbie. Hold on a second. Silly old Facebook. Let me try it again, y'all. Pin. Okay. Anyway. I pinned a comment there. We have a lot of people who ask us about glitter. So I sat down and made a video and a girl that works with us made a PDF. If you want to know how to glitter anything and what we do, there's a pin, there's a comment that I've got in there and you'll see it's, um, it's a PDF that you can read and it's a video that you can watch. And I give all the tips, tricks, ideas, and everything I can think of <clears throat> about what we use, how we do it, and all that good stuff. So if that's something you want, you can click on that and you can get a PDF and a video watching yours truly right here do lots of glitter. So thank you for that, Debbie, for reminding me. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Anyway, so I guess I better be getting a code or something because I really don't have a 
a, a, um, a thing to wear uh, on a cruise as far as going down. Because basically we're getting on in South America and going way down, I guess as south as you can go. We're supposed to be going to the South Pole, seeing lots of penguins and all that kind of stuff. So, And I think we're going to be gone for 20 days. So I don't think we're, I think we're only on the boat 14 days, but we've got to go tootle around South America a little bit. And because my idea is uh, we're going that far. That's a long way to go. I'll probably never get to go back the rest of my life. So let's go check it out while we're there kind of thing. The last time we were on a cruise, we went to Alaska, y'all. That was really, that, but that's been probably eight or nine years ago. <clears throat> but I will say if there's a cruise that I would take again, that would be one of them. I'm not just, I, we're not party people like just to get on a boat and go partying. That's just not our thing. But the cruise to Alaska was really nice. So, you know, you see all, all sorts of scenery, wildlife, all of that kind of stuff. And um, we did that, and that was super awesome. So this will be the second cruise I've ever been on. And, uh, you know, hey, it doesn't mean... Um, let's see, I want to make sure... Okay, she said she's losing the storm, the uh, thing because of the storm. So I've got all of that done. Oh, y'all, I forgot. I got to do this right here. I'm doing my tail lights and my mirrors in gray. So what's Ellie Mae doing, Connie? Is she being bad? She's probably being bad, y'all. So uh, I am going to be doing, I'm going to paint this guy in sky blue. But before I do that, I'm trying to paint all the inside parts of the truck. Right here, I'm gonna do some nutmeg. I hope, those of you that are in the academy, if you didn't get to join us this morning, Miss Victoria, she showed us a tutorial on how to make this fur. So if you're in the academy, make sure you go look at that. She did a, such a great job on animal fur and hair. And uh, the academy is just something that we, we have for folks that they wanna learn specific things on painting or more about painting and that sort of stuff. So that's uh, that's what we did this morning. And y'all, y'all tell me, and y'all getting notifications because I'm not getting any of the notifications, even though I went in today on my desktop. I don't get notifications on any of the Yard Art or Us pages of going live or anything. Like if Ashley's going live, I just have to remember she's going live. So I went in there to the edit button on notifications and I changed all my settings and I clicked update and then I go back there and check and my settings are still just like they used to be on default. And, um, cause I went, I had a girl that was showing me how to change those settings and I thought, cool, I'll go change the settings. Everything will be cool. Nah, after I click update changes, hmm, went right back to the way it used to be. Sometimes y'all, I think Facebook hates me. And I'm thinking, come on, I, I'm not getting notifications on our own page and groups. I mean, that's kind of, ironic I think so I got me some nutmeg in there now I'm going to really just kind of be ready for the sky blue I'll do the black here at the very last I got one tonight but not at all but not all I know and I and I'm gonna try it again in the morning and see if maybe if I update those settings in the morning maybe I don't know it just I update my settings and it, and it still stays the way it used to be so I don't know. And then, um, you know, you keep hearing about the Apple update and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if this has anything to do with that. Um, but I think how ironic that we've got, I guess, four pages now and I don't get notifications on any of them. Come on. And I'm an administrator on all of them. So you would think, but nope, doesn't mean anything if you're in a minute, or at least in my case, it doesn't. It does not mean a thing if you're an administrator. As far as getting notifications, it, for me, it doesn't mean a thing, except you're not gonna get them. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm using sky blue on this, and I'm choosing to just kind of use a, a round brush. This is actually a worn out old script liner, and I'm just using it uh, as opposed to a mop brush right now, just because there's so many little spaces in here that I'm trying to get paint on. Now, Ashley will be in here tomorrow, y'all, and she'll be doing, um, the graduation diploma. She'll probably come on tomorrow around two. And I think I'll come on Friday to finish this guy. So I just have him on a um, Lazy Susan here. And I'm just kind of going up in here close to these petals. 
and on my mirror, so to speak, rear view mirror, not rear view, side view mirror. And just kind of going in here with that paint. I got a lot of paint over there, so I keep walking it over here. But I am going to paint this same truck in uh, red for the fall. I just think that's what I'm, I like the idea of a red truck during the fall. Okay, so I almost got that. I've seen lots of comments on things not working right on Facebook. Yeah, I think you're right, Debbie, uh, because I hear a lot of people talking. I, I'm in a number of groups, and I hear a lot of frustration in their comments, and I get it, because, I, y'all, I get frustrated, too. I'm not hating, because it's frustrating. So, I, and this is Facebook, y'all, because sometimes we run ads, right? Facebook sends me this email from Facebook. I think the girl's name was Laura. And she says, hey, you know, y'all been sending, making ads and stuff. We would love for to help you learn how to make ads and support you in any way. Just reach out to me. I'll be your person to show you, you know, how to improve your ad and all of that. Oh, I'm thinking, okay. So I think, okay, I'll click on there and maybe I can make an appointment or something like that. And I get a default message and it says, um, oh, thank you for reaching out to Facebook, but we're so busy now, we can't help you. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for sending me an email saying you can help me, and then I reply to the email and you can't help me. I don't know who made that up, y'all. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, And I know maybe I'm an old fogey, but that just really was kind of like, really, people? You're going to do that? You're going to send me an email saying we like the fact that you're making Facebook ads and we want to help you with your ads and we're going to do this for you and we're going to do that for you. And then I click it on there. No, they're too busy to answer. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, you have to laugh. You just have to laugh at the craziness, you know. So this is sky blue. I think Connie says, I love that color. Oh, I love it too. Uh, are y'all cutting out any more? Kim says, any more? Is it any more? Yes, I do believe so, Kim. Summertime memories, um, because it's awful early for us to be out of them. But I will double check on that tomorrow and reach out to you and let you know. I'm, I'm pretty certain we are. Um, now, if it was August, we probably wouldn't. But this is awful early to be out of summertime memories. Because a lot of that just goes by the season that we're in, right? So notice I did the bigger parts with my mop brush and the smaller parts with my worn out script liner. And when I'm trying to get into little places, that's what I do. And really, this guy is uh, not that hard to paint, I don't think. You just kind of have to sit here and have a few patience with it, if you will. And um, this morning, we had planned on doing fur and wool in the academy, but we ran out of time. So if you're in the academy, we will be doing some lambs and teaching you how to do the, the wool hair, you know probably in about two weeks. And we will have two lambs that we're selling the blanks on for everything, uh, I mean, as part of the Christmas uh, nativity set. I was only gonna do one lamb, but they're kind of small. And I have a cute one laying down and of course a cute one standing up. So we're gonna do both of those lambs. And the Academy will have the blanks for both of them. And then in the, we'll have the blanks for everybody, but then in the academy, Miss Victoria is gonna be teaching us how to do wool on the lamb to make it look like he's got real wool. So here's one of the lambs. I just base coated it, we haven't done anything to it, but this will be part of the nativity set that we'll probably release this one in June. This one and we have a standing lamb next weekend, okay. Kim, not, not this weekend, but next weekend, as in not uh, two days from now, but nine days from now, I hope. But anyway, this is the other lamb, okay? So we'll have both of those probably in June. I thought about just doing one of them, but I decided to do both of them because I think they're really cute. And to me, a lot of the nativity part looks so good with the animals. Of course, we'll have a cow camel and a donkey, uh, you know, another month. But uh, probably be lambs next month. I'm going to do some black tires, y'all. And then I'm almost done. Oh, aren't they cute? I just love... Okay, May 7th. Thanks, Kim, for that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm with you. You know what, Trish? I think I have painted those lambs. Lee, Ashley's 30. 
she's in her, I better not say her age out loud, y'all. I think I have painted those lambs since she was probably in kindergarten. No kidding, that's how many years I've painted those lambs. I don't know how many years, but a long time. Probably 25 years, something like that. And I, and I, and you know what, they sell every year. And I think it's just because they're cute and because they're, you know, they're small, you don't have to charge an arm and a leg for them, so you don't have to charge that much, but I think they're really cute. And I thought about just doing either the sitting or the standing, but nope, gotta do both of them. Gotta do, gotta do both of them. All right, so we got the black tire, and then we've got a black tire here. And then I'm gonna come on on Friday and show y'all how to finish this guy. Debbie, when you go play bingo, do you go with a group or do you go by yourself when you're playing bingo? Because I'm just curious, because we were talking the other day, we might go play bingo, especially now that you told me where it's at. And then uh, somebody, I think it was Connie saying, yeah, we're talking about go play bingo because old people play bingo. Y'all, I think a lot of people play bingo. I don't know. I don't think it's just old people. All right. Here we go. I'm going to show this to y'all. Okay. It wasn't a very long live, really. And all I did was base coat this guy. I started with a base coat of white on everything. Then, um, Joyce and you go. Okay. Let me know next time y'all go. I might have to join you. All right. Um, so I started with white. And then this is sky blue. Of course, you got black tires. I've got a gray windshield and a gray bumper, gray uh, brake lights and side mirror, light yellow, nutmeg in the center, reindeer brown. That's it. Pretty simple. I'll come on Friday and um, I will show y'all. I know, isn't the, isn't the kitty cute? I was telling everybody earlier, Miss Victoria and I got on the academy this morning and she had a tutorial and I just hung out with her and I learned a lot of stuff and she showed us how to make the fur on an animal. And uh, that was what we did in the academy. And so those of you that might be interested, academy is, will be open in June the 1st or around June 1st, somewhere like that. And we have all kinds of stuff like this where we teach them that sort of thing. And I think it makes it just look really cute. And honestly, y'all, this was a lot, to me, this is a lot easier than shading us. I mean, I, I, anybody could do this without a whole lot of uh, work. You just have to have the right brush and the right technique. So anyway, I'll be on Friday to finish this guy. Ashley will be on tomorrow. She'll be doing the graduation one. And I hope you guys have a good evening. It's still daylight outside. We've got a little bit of time, but I think I'm going to bed, y'all. And uh, we'll talk at y'all later, and y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you're doing good. I am doing great so far. We've had a lot of rain today, y'all, but I'm not gonna correct too much because we kind of needed it. And I'm trying to post a comment here, y'all. Hold on, my computer, my phone's not wanting to work. All right, I hope you are uh, you are staying dry because over here where we're at, it's it's wanting to rain a lot. But you know what? We we really need it, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh, go with it. So I'm going to do the hay y'all truck like this. And I am deliberately starting with these sunflowers because there's a lot of work that's going to go on on these. Lots of CNC lines etched right here, y'all. So I'm going to not worry about shading them. I'm just going to script line. And the reason I'm going to do that is there's such a small area. Hey, Kim, how are you? I, uh, it is such a small area on these flowers that if I try to shade them, I'm afraid that the whole thing is just going to turn to nothing but shading yellow. I'm going to cover up too much of my light yellow. So I'm just going to do some of the, um, I'm just going to do this with a script liner. And I, all I'm doing is following along with every CNC line that's on here. Kim, I hope you, have y'all had a lot of rain this afternoon? Because, well, we've had a lot of rain all day. They say it's going to kind of get out of here. A little bit more you know as the day wears on and, and so far that's been right we had quite a bit of rain this morning early this morning before we got out of bed and we've had rain you know 10 11 o'clock too so uh, but we really we kind of need it so 
you know, as long as it doesn't come down a torrential downpour like it's, you know, does sometimes around here where we're all flooded in, I think we're good. So, I hope you guys are doing good. Taking a break from doing my truck. I saw that, and I thought yours looked so good, Kim. I thought that looked so good. Uh, you kind of went a different color scheme than what I anticipated on it, but I really, really liked it. Um, yeah, you said you had rain since four. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? I'm so glad you could join me. So, y'all had it four, but it slacked up. Yeah, that's kind of what it's doing here, too. It's slacked up quite a bit, and um, I have a dog who has bad, bad, bad anxiety. I spent, particularly, well, she can be, she can have anxiety, well, to me for no reason, but I'm sure to her it's real, it's a real reason, but she really has it associated with the weather, so she was banging on my bedroom door at four o'clock this morning, so I had to get up and go into the other room. We have a spare bedroom, and I went in there with her. She was terrified, y'all. She was shivering. She was shaking. She just doesn't like it. It was doing a lot of thundering, you know, and that really, really makes her nervous. So I had to sleep with the dog for a little while and until um, she could kind of get over it. But I can always tell when the weather's going to be bad because she starts. Uh, you working on the sunflower truck now? Good. It, and it's a, it's a real cute truck, I think. And the, it's, I wish sometimes I would have done the, um, oh, the sunflower petals, not so busy, busy, but you know, hey, Nothing like hindsight. And today I was posting, I think you might have seen it, Kim. Uh, I did see foam on the green. Oh, I bet that looked good. Yeah, we got rain, Kathy. We did. And we kind of needed it. So, you know, we're just kind of chilling out here at the house. And fortunately, it wasn't a torrential rain where, you know, we all flooded. Because sometimes in Texas, it, it literally just does not know when to stop raining, you know. So, but it's been a good rain in that, no flooding or anything crazy like that, you know. So, um, but my dog, I can always tell when the weather's going to get bad, y'all. She gets crazy, 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 crazy. And um, so I had to go sleep in the spare bedroom with her last night. From Well, last night, say starting at four. Mm -hmm. And so, um, that's what I did. And, it, and it's been kind of nice. One thing about it. It kind of holds down the uh, temperature, so it's not really been hot. Of course, y'all, for painting, it's not good. So I use the day to kind of spend some time in my office. Those of you that are following me on Facebook, um, like if you look at our post and stuff, you probably could tell I was in the office today because I was putting a post out. Do you What kind of snow people do y'all prefer? So that's kind of what I've been working on, trying to get ready for Christmas in July. Since it was raining, I really couldn't do anything you know, paint-wise, it's not, it, it doesn't even really have to rain for the paint not to dry. Just the threat of rain will slow down the paint drying. So I'm just kind of coming back in here and just making a little brush stroke inside every petal. That, that's all I'm going to do. I will come back and put some white in here, uh, you know, because y'all know I'm the queen of always putting highlights on everything. So, um, but hey, you know, it, it's not bad. The, we need the rain, so, you know. We, we're just going with that. So I've got this. This is a reindeer brown. This is kind of like a wooden tailgate. So what I'm going to do, this is my shading brown. I'm going to shade it. That's what I'm going to do. Hey, Trisha, how are you? I'm glad you could join us. Um, I was. It was kind of interesting what everybody was responding to on the, um, what do you call that? On that post I put out earlier about which of these do you like? Because... Um, I was going through photos. Uh, I only have, well, I have 10,000 photos in my computer and probably another 10 or 15,000 that have never been converted digitally. So, she says you're gonna paint your red truck. What color would you do the letters? If you're gonna do red, um, I, w I almost would like a yellow letter. I kinda, well, you've got a lot of yellow here, so the yellow might not be good here. If you're going to do a red truck and you've got yellow flowers, maybe even do, um, I think maybe coral letters. You want something that's really going to stand out. So you might try the coral or orange, which coral and orange are really close. Um, but y'all was looking at those photos and now I've got a bunch of them in photo albums I need to get out. Uh, of course, who knows when that's going to happen. And, um, 
I was thinking, oh, we thought these photos looked so good back then, you know, when I had them developed and stuff. And now I look at them and y'all, those photos look blurry. They don't look that good at all, but that's technology. And so I think everybody kind of said for sure they wanted the, oh, what do you call it? The snowman, the joy snowman. So we'll probably end up doing that one for sure. And that sheriff snowman, Bruce and I were talking about that one. Well, basically the pipe snowman, the one with the pipe and the sheriff one, both. I know I did those um, when my kids were real little. So that's how long we've had them. And, but I, I really like them, so. And I just put a little bit of shading there and I'm gonna leave that alone. And that was just in this uh, shading brown. And so I've got my yellow here. I'm gonna let this dry some before I work on this nutmeg in the middle, cause that's nutmeg. I think I'll go work on the bumper and the windshield. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my number 24 gray right here. Yeah, the Joy Snowman are really cute. Hey Carly, how are you? I'm glad you could join us. We are, I'm painting a Hey Y'all truck and we're talking about the rain that we've had, which has been good. And um, I've been putting posts on Facebook deciding what to do for um, Christmas in July. So, because, y'all, I have so many patterns, it's, it's almost ridiculous. And uh, so I started going through them and that's, I came out. Now that, that joy that I just did the line drawing on, Miss Victoria actually created that one. And so uh, I really liked it too. So I'm, I'm thinking we may do the joy one and um, we'll have to kind of see what, I'm gonna wait and see what some of the other answers are just to see what everybody likes. So I'm taking this and adding some black. We don't carry a shading uh, gray but you don't need to, just put some black in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more water and um, to kind of make this. One thing that I noticed at the, some of the paint parties that I was helping the uh, folks with is we put a lot of paint in our water, uh, a lot of water in our paint. I think a lot of it is, there's two reasons. First of all, it's a latex paint, a house paint, so it, it's gonna have a tendency to be thick anyway and not have a lot of water in it. And second of all, sometimes it sits here in these little containers and it can dry out. So uh, I put I put a lot of water in most anything I'm gonna shade for sure, uh, or I'm gonna when I'm shading. And I also put typically I put a lot of water when I'm going to um, highlight or outline. So I'm just kind of I made me some shading gray, and I'm just kind of going along. Uh, I did the uh, tail lights. Nah, y'all, I dropped some water there. Okay, oh well. I'll have to come back later after the video and shoot, and clean that up. I didn't realize it had water on it. And um, so you don't really need any shading gray. You can make it all. Now, the other thing while I have some of y'all on here, Ashley and I were talking about, we did what we called the ribbon snowman, I mean, sorry, ribbon Santa last year. And we're debating about doing that one or should we just, you know, do something totally different? I, I do think we need a Santa, but I um, I really don't know if people want to stick with that one. That's probably one of our best sellers. Or would they like to just go something totally, <clears throat> see something totally different? So if you have an idea on that, let me know. And for those of you that buy templates, I know, I think Trisha sometimes buys templates. We have been working feverishly feverishly y'all on and putting templates in. I think we have all of our Halloween templates up. I think we have either all or most of our Thanksgiving templates up and fall templates. I think all of those are pretty much done for the most part. There might be a few stragglers. And just to give you an idea, those templates, doing those templates probably took us about, I would say there's 60 templates maybe total, I don't know, 60, 70 templates. Um, ooh, she says she's working, working her way back to the project table making banana nut muffins. Ooh, I love that. I used to really make a lot of um, zucchini bread and I haven't made it in a long time. It's so good, y'all. Of course, there's the, the issue of my waistline. Maybe that's why I'm not making it. But anyway, I did a bunch of templates fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Probably 70 templates we did. We got them up there. Um, I would say it probably took me 
probably took us 40 hours to do it. So each template, it's a lot of work. And here, the thing is, we, we're gonna sell uh, Christmas templates. And like, like I said, maybe 70, I don't know, something like that, uh, templates for the fall is what we have up. And for Christmas, we probably have, I don't know that we'll get them done. We have hundreds of them. So it's a lot of work to, to pull all that in, you know. And so much of the work has to do with the fact that you've got to go chase down the photos. Well, when you paint it as long as I have, and unfortunately you're as old as I am, you have lots of photos. So trying to find the photo to match that. And y'all, I've always thought I was such a, always thought I had a lot of photos, you know. Hmm, don't have near enough, y'all. Not near enough. Now, I'm not going to come in here and do the shading teal right here. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm afraid if I put shading teal here, it just makes that truck so dark. I like that sky blue a lot, so I'm going to leave that alone because I still got to come back and outline that gray windshield. So, um, buy stock in here. <laughs> now, Trish, I hear you. It's so funny, isn't it? Uh, you know, and doing those um, templates and stuff, my husband's been like, I don't know why you're doing it. You, just, you know, you're not going to sell that many of them because people don't really know us as a template, you know, whatever. They don't really uh, associate that. And I was like, yes, that's true. They don't. And we won't sell a ton of templates this year, I don't think. It'll take some time, you know, but we have so many of them. It's just kind of like, I kind of feel like I need to because... Um, Y'all, I've spent I don't know how many hours of work creating them over the years. And some of them I actually paid another guy to create because I ran out of time. So I feel like, you know, it's kind of one of those that I have a lot invested in them. Uh, hi, Karen. How are you? I, uh, but I get, I get what he's saying. You know, and it's so funny, too, because the painting thing is kind of like a... Um, I guess, I think of it as, for most of us, it's a hobby, uh, but it, there's just something about being able to make something beautiful, you know, that's really, really nice. And um, this happened a long time ago. Years ago, we were at a store. It's probably, I think we were at Michael's. Uh, yeah, I will have a lot of Christmas. Uh, I mean, Tricia, I, honestly, I don't know that I'll get them all done this year, but we'll work, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Because, I mean, I've got Santa, I don't know, 200 Santas maybe? Lots. Lots of Santas. Uh, and, of course, I don't really like every single pattern, you know. So, I don't know that even some of them are worth converting and, and selling, you know. But, um, years ago, we were at a, um, I think it was Hobby Lobby or Michael's. One of the two. I can't remember exactly which one. And, uh, he was giving me a hard time about what I was spending, I think, and y'all, I was spending, I remember, for whatever reason, it was like $56 that I was spending at Hobby Lobby. And like I said, it was a long time ago. But y'all, I've also painted and sold my stuff for, for years, so I'm gonna buy more items than most people because I'm, I'm producing a lot. And he was giving me grief about it. Now, y'all, my husband used to be a smoker. He's not anymore. And he's always enjoyed a beer or two a day, so. Still likes to drink some, but he slowed down on that too because the calories. And he was giving me a hard time about how much money I was spending. I guess I was, I don't know, I guess I wasn't having a good day. I just kind of looked at him and I looked at him in front of the cashier and I said, how long have we been married? And yeah, I think at the time we'd been married 29 years or whatever it was. And I said, in all that time, how much do you think we've spent on uh, smoking? Because I smoked for a little while too. But he was always a serious smoker. I was, I was never a serious smoker. And he just kind of looked at me. You know, he kind of got like kind of sheepish. He didn't say anything after that. The point I was, I was trying to make is, I think, I don't care who you are, all of us spend money on things that uh, we could live without, so to speak. But what's the point of doing that? And uh, he never, and the thing is that he's not one to, to uh, complain about what I, what I spent. So it's not, he's not, he usually doesn't ever say much about, you know, what I spend. But he was really giving me grief that day, y'all. So, um, he didn't say anything after that. So, but that statement could go for me too. You know, how much money we spent on me doing my hair over the years because I get my hair colored. 
or every now and then I go get my toes done, you know, think about stuff like that. Okay, this one over here has a lot of water in it, so it's not looking good. So when it's dried, I'm gonna have to kind of come back and fix it. It's too thin and watered down, that part is. Now, um, what I would do is I would probably come in here and make at least one, if not two, white brush strokes for every um, shading yellow brush stroke I have on the petal. Now, I'm not saying you have to do that, but that's just what I do. I put a lot of white highlights on everything I do. Part, and a lot of that is because this is yard art meant to see, be seen from a distance. And highlights are gonna really help it show up some. Make it a little bit lighter and brighter. So, uh, this color right here that I have right here is white, but I did this, um, this middle part is nutmeg. The middle part of the sunflower is nutmeg, so it's that dark brown. And then, of course, on the petals is light yellow, and then I highlighted, I'm sorry, I script linered and shading yellow on the petals of the, of the uh, sunflower. And really doing these little white strokes, it doesn't, it, I, it takes time, but there's not, it's, it's not hard, you know. So I would put one or two, depending on how much area I've got to work with. This works really well too when I do turkeys because turkeys have a lot of detail on them. And so I'll put a lot of strokes on them and um, kind of do it like that. But you can see I put the highlighting everywhere. Everything I do, I highlight. Well, I can't think of anything I don't highlight. Maybe there is something, but I can't think of it now. And I just kind of come in here. Now I haven't outlined everything yet but while I have this white in my hand, I'm gonna do this. If you want a thick stroke, then you lay that brush down, you put pressure on it. If you want a thin stroke, you barely touch the, the uh, board on there. Put that, just that little bit right there, and you can see how things are starting to look, you know, so much, uh, I don't know what the word is, brighter, lighter, that's the point of it. So I kind of put that everywhere and I'll probably do it up here some, like that. And I'll probably do a little bit of, just a little bit of shadowing on this guy. Kind of come over here, like so. Want to make sure I'm looking up and answering questions if y'all have them. But uh, so far, I think we have we started looking at what we're going to be doing for Christmas. Oh my lord, y'all, we got a lot of stuff. I don't know if we'll get to all of the lives in July or not. We're going to try. Well, when we decided to do the nativity stuff, that that alone, I think, is twelve pieces. I think just just on that part alone and um, so a lot of Christmas stuff now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to I need to do some outlining I just kept on doing highlighting because I had that in my hand so what I'll do is I will take for my gray part here notice I had that shading um, I made that shading gray right so probably what I'm gonna do, I've got some black in here. I'm gonna spoon out some of that shading gray and I'm gonna lighten up some of this black. So it's gonna kinda almost give me three colors of gray. I base coated in the, the light gray and then I did a shading gray and I'm gonna outline in kinda like a dark gray. Uh, plaques, once they're all finished up, I'll post them. Oh, I'm, I'm excited to see them. I, yeah, I know you've been busy because I can tell by looking at your post. Uh, but yes, post them so we can look at them. Hi, Carla, how are you? I am uh, working on putting, I had some, I started with the gray, I added some black to it and I made shading gray. Then I added uh, and made it darker and I am going to use this as my outline color around my windshield, my taillights, my bumper, and my side, view, my side mirrors. Now you could definitely use black on this if you wanted to, but y'all know me, I'm kind of always in favor of mixing my colors a little bit 
and just, uh, I think it was my mother-in-law who was telling me one day we were talking about color and she's like, you know, if, if you want really pretty yard art, you need to be real dramatic in your colors. And I didn't know what that meant. And she said, well, start with a light, for this example, start with a light gray, put medium gray, put dark gray, put extra dark gray, and then you'll have a real dramatic looking piece, you know, of your example on your gray. And I guess that's too why you see on, not on every color, but so many colors in our palette, we have a, a light and a shading for each color. It just kind of gives us that drama that we're looking for. And I'm just outlining the side, side view mirrors, the tail lights, the windshield, and I will out, also outline the bumper. And then of course I still have to outline this truck. What I did on the truck is I did a sky blue. And then I, uh, oh, I love this too. Carla says, I'm doing good. That's awesome. Carla, are you getting rain where you're at? We've had it most all day, even though it's kind of calmed down now. Um, but I know parts of like North Houston, they got it really bad. I mean, you know, kind of bad weather. We didn't, we, we got some rain, you know, but nothing too serious. And I'll take this brush and I will just take some darker strokes right on that gray, that shading gray creating that drama that I was talking about. I also, I forgot, I need to do the middle of my, um, I'm gonna have this shading red, and I'm gonna do the middle of my sunflowers. That's nutmeg, and then of course I did the, the cross hatching in white. And this is shading red. I had to let it dry a little bit, but I'm gonna come around here with shading red, and I'm gonna go around there like that. I'm trying not to put a whole lot on there because I don't have a big space to work with. So I'm just kind of, and this pen, this pen, y'all, this paint is wanting to thin out on me a little bit. I might have it a little bit too thin for what I'm trying to do. So I might have to, after this is over, I might have to come back in and put a little bit more brush stroking on it. But I, I really don't have far to go. And this has not really been a long live. Um, it says, I want to join your painting group so bad, cabinet guy screwed up my kitchen, won't be done this week, so no for Oh, no, Roberta, I'm so sorry. I can, I, I, I don't know. Uh, Y'all, remodeling and construction is just the worst. About 10 years ago, we ripped out 1,100 square feet of our house, and I mean ripped it down to the studs. Sheetrock gone, insulation gone, repipe. And what do they call that? Rewired. Well, we had we were redoing our kitchen. Um, and Carla sees. Okay, you're an Alvin. Y'all probably got some rain. So I for three months we are we had our kitchen set up in our garage. It was very interesting. Very very interesting. I was never so tired of the dust and the dirt. Can't find anything. I didn't remember where I put this. I can't. It's kind of like you're in perpetual moving. You don't know where you put anything. You got dust everywhere. You can't find what you're looking for. And um, we ripped it out. And Bruce did most of the work, but uh, we also paid him. We, he didn't do the cabinets because we redid the kitchen. And, but we moved walls, tore out windows, tore out doors, tore out, you know, I, it was just crazy. And uh, I just kept hearing the thing go cha-ching, 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 because when you're remodeling. That's, that's, uh, that's what happens. Okay, so I have teal, and I have uh, this number six navy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this teal, and I'm going to spoon out some navy in here. And I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but we will find out together. It says, Jen got, he had a window broken out on shingles. Oh no. Ugh. So it sounds like y'all did have kind of bad weather, Kathy. Uh, wow, we didn't have near that. But I kept looking at the radar and it kept looking to me like the folks out west of us were getting it. That's what it looked like. Okay, I think I'm gonna like this. And I just took some navy blue and with that teal, this is the sky blue that I did for my base coat. I shaded in the teal. And then I took the teal with some navy blue. If you would put black in here to me, it just turns like to mud. So I did some navy blue. And I think I like it. So we're gonna see. Now, if this isn't dark enough, I can always come along and put some more navy in there. 
Y'all, I think I like it. Okay. You don't, you you really don't even have to outline this part. If you don't, if you like the look of it not in being outlined, you could totally leave it. You know, I'm just putting an outline on it because I tend to outline everything. But you certainly don't have to. And But I like it. I've got a little, it makes it a little bit, kind of get up there where you can see. That's what it looks like when you put, this is a mix of teal and navy. Dark navy. So I'm going to come in here and just do a little bit of outlining. I'm not trying to make a big wide stroke, but I am trying to put some paint on here, of course. Cindy, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I uh, didn't get to do anything outside, so I worked in the office. And Ashley and I were talking about Christmas, and I did some posts to see if y'all, what kind of snow people y'all want. And um, so that's what I've been doing. Yeah, I think it does. And But like I said, if you're not crazy about the outlining, you wouldn't have to do that part because you can see right here. I'll just show you. This part's outlined. This part's not. But I'm fixing to outline it. I just I like it that way. And y'all, that's really about it. This guy, there's not a lot to him as far as... Uh, the hardest part, I think, as far as detail and the work is just doing all the flowers. And I did not shade the flowers. I just outlined them. Because those flowers, they're so, 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 so busy. I felt like if I started to shade them, it was all, the whole thing was just going to turn to nothing but shading uh, yellow. And I didn't want that. I want some of that light yellow poking through. So I did not, uh, I did not shade that. I just outlined it. Okay, y'all. I don't think I'm done. I'll put something there and there. And let me put it up here so y'all can see. And that's sky blue base coat, teal for the shade, and then I mix teal and navy blue for the outline. That's on the blue, but that'll give you an idea. That's the Hey Y'all truck. And I think, I think um, Carolyn or Debbie, one of them was saying that they're going to do this in red. I think it would look super cute in red. I really do. In fact, I think I'm going to do a red version in the fall. And I'm thinking about doing something like this and then... A red version in the fall that'll say it's fall or happy fall and maybe putting pumpkins or something like that but i just decided to do the blue really because of the springtime if i wanted more brown on the sunflower what would i use to outline so what you can do uh, this is what i would do kim sometimes if you will sit here um uh, and don't be afraid so if you wanted more brown what you could do is you could mix these two colors and lighten this up a lot or you'd use that color or you could take your yellow, do that as your base coat, right? Mix this a little bit and then kind of just streak some of that on there if you wanted it more brown. You could, that's what I would do. I wouldn't go too dark because then you're not gonna have the contrast of that nutmeg because this is nutmeg and this is shading. Uh, so you could try that, mix some of the yellow uh, with your shading red or shading brown, I mean and see if you like that. Uh, if you don't like that, mix some of your um, shading brown with reindeer brown and see what how, how much of a contrast you get on that. You might like that, I don't know. I haven't really played with it that much to say, but that, that would be a good start. And then, y'all, I just now noticed I don't have any white. Y'all know I got to fix this now. I don't have any white on my windshield, and I gotta, I gotta fix that. So, it won't take me long. White up here, there we go. Now I got white on my windshield. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope y'all stay dry. It's not been too bad here, but I think people west of us is the one who got it. I don't know, next week is starting May 1st, so I do know we have a whole different, we, we um, on our sneak peek we did around 1st of April, we did it for May and April. But I will be posting probably over the weekend the two items that me and Ashley, I think we'll probably do two next week. Um, and then in June, we'll be doing some more pieces. And then of course, I think we're gonna try to do our sneak peek for Christmas in June, just the sneak peek. We won't have anything cut until July. So, uh, got a lot of things in the works coming up and I uh, hope you guys will have a great weekend and we will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.